Acetylene systematic name, ethine, is the chemical compound with the formula C2H2. It is a hydrocarbon and the simplest alkyne. This colorless gas is widely used as a fuel and a chemical building block. It is unstable in its pure form and thus is usually handled as a solution. Pure acetylene is odorless, but commercial grades usually have a marked odor due to impurities. As an alkyne, acetylene is unsaturated because its two carbon atoms are bonded together in a triple bond. The carbon carbon triple bond places all four atoms in the same straight line, with CCH bond angles of 180 degrees. Discovery Acetylene was discovered in 1836 by Edmund Davy, who identified it as a new carburate of hydrogen. It was rediscovered in 1860 by French chemist Marcelin Berthelot, who coined the name acetylene. Berthelot's empirical formula for acetylene C4H2, as well as the alternative name, quadricarburate dehydrogene, Hydrogen quadricarbide, were incorrect because chemists at that time used the wrong atomic mass for carbon 6 instead of 12. Berthelot was able to prepare this gas by passing vapors of organic compounds methanol, ethanol, etc. through a red-hot tube and collecting the effluent. He also found that acetylene was formed by sparking electricity through mixed cyanogen and hydrogen gases. Berthelot later obtained acetylene directly by passing hydrogen between the poles of a carbon arc. Commercially available acetylene gas could smell foul due to the impurities divinyl sulfide and phosphine. Topic: <inaudible> Preparation. Since the 1950s, acetylene has mainly been manufactured by the partial combustion of methane or appears as a side product in the ethylene stream from cracking of hydrocarbons. Approximately 400,000 tons were produced by this method in 1983. Its presence in ethylene is usually undesirable because of its explosive character and its ability to poison ziegler natta catalysts. It is selectively hydrogenated into ethylene, usually using PD-AG catalysts, until the 1950s, when oil supplanted coal as the chief source of reduced carbon, acetylene and the aromatic fraction from coal tar was the main source of organic chemicals in the chemical industry. It was prepared by the hydrolysis of calcium carbide, a reaction discovered by Friedrich Wohler in 1862 and still familiar to students. CAC 2 plus 2H2O calcium hydroxide plus C2H2 calcium carbide production requires extremely high temperatures, approximately 2000 degrees Celsius, necessitating the use of an electric arc furnace. In the U.S., this process was an important part of the late 19th century revolution in chemistry enabled by the massive hydroelectric power project at Niagara Falls. <inaudible> Bonding In terms of valence bond theory, in each carbon atom the 2's orbital hybridizes with one 2p orbital thus forming an sp hybrid. The other two 2p orbitals remain unhybridized. The two ends of the 2sp hybrid orbital overlap to form a strong sigma valence bond between the carbons, while on each of the other two ends hydrogen atoms attach also by sigma bonds. The two unchanged 2p orbitals form a pair of weaker pi bonds. Since acetylene is a linear symmetrical molecule, it possesses the d infinity h point group. Physical properties Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Changes of state At atmospheric pressure, acetylene cannot exist as a liquid and does not have a melting point. The triple point on the phase diagram corresponds to the melting point -80.8 degrees Celsius at the minimal pressure at which liquid acetylene can exist, 1.27 atmospheres. At temperatures below the triple point, solid acetylene can change directly to the vapor gas by sublimation. The sublimation point at atmospheric pressure is minus 84.0 degrees Celsius. Topic: Other. At room temperature, the solubility of acetylene in acetone is 27.9 grams per kilogram. 
For the same amount of DMF, the solubility is 51 grams. At 20.26 bars, the solubility increases to 689.0 and 628.0 grams for acetone and DMF, respectively. These solvents are used in pressurized gas cylinders. Topic. Reactions Topic. Vinylation, hydration, hydrohalogenation, etc. In vinylation reactions, HX compounds add across the triple bond. Alcohols and phenols add to acetylene to give vinyl ethers. Thiols give vinyl thioethers. Similarly, vinyl pyrrolidone and vinyl carbazole are produced industrially by vinylation of 2 pyrrolidone and carbazole. The hydration of acetylene is a vinylation reaction, but the resulting vinyl alcohol isomerizes to acetaldehyde. The reaction is catalyzed by mercury salts. This reaction once was the dominant technology for acetaldehyde production, but it has been displaced by the Wacker process, which affords acetaldehyde by oxidation of ethylene, a cheaper feedstock. A similar situation applies to the conversion of acetylene to the valuable vinyl chloride by hydrochlorination versus the oxychlorination of ethylene. Topic: <laughs> Addition to formaldehyde. Acetylene adds to ketones and aldehydes in the presence of base catalysts. Formaldehyde gives sequentially propargyl alcohol and butyndiol. Topic. Metal acetylides Since acetylene has a pKa of 25, acetylene can be deprotonated by a superbase to form an acetylide HCCH plus ERM RH plus HCCM Various organometallic and inorganic reagents are effective. The formation of the acetylide depends upon several factors such as the pKb of the base, the valency of the metal, and solvent characteristics. Copper I acetylide and silver acetylide can be formed in aqueous solutions with ease due to a poor solubility equilibrium. Topic: <laughs> Carbonylation Walter Rep discovered that in the presence of metal catalysts, acetylene can react to give a wide range of industrially significant chemicals. With alcohols, hydrogen cyanide, hydrogen chloride, or carboxylic acids to give vinyl compounds, with carbonyl groups to give alpha ethyl alcohols in ethylation reactions. 1,4-butyndiol is produced industrially in this way from formaldehyde and acetylene, with carbon monoxide to give acrylic acid, or acrylic esters, which can be used to produce acrylic glass. Cyclization to give benzene see alkyne trimerization, cyclooctate train, or hydroquinone. Fe CO, 5 plus 4 C 2 H 2 plus 2 H 2 O 2 C 6 hydrogen hydroxide plus iron 2 carbonate at basic conditions 50 to 80 degrees Celsius, 20 to 25 atmospheres. Topic: Applications. Topic: Welding. Approximately 20% of acetylene is supplied by the industrial gases industry for oxyacetylene gas welding and cutting due to the high temperature of the flame. Combustion of acetylene with oxygen produces a flame of over 3,600 K 3,330 degrees Celsius, 6,020 degrees Fahrenheit, releasing 11.8 kJ per gram. Oxyacetylene is the hottest burning common fuel gas. Acetylene is the third hottest natural chemical flame after disyanoacetylene's 5260 K, 4990 degrees Celsius, 9010 degrees Fahrenheit, and cyanogen at 4798 K, 4525 degrees Celsius, 8177 degrees Fahrenheit. Oxyacetylene welding was a popular welding process in previous decades. The development and advantages of arc-based welding processes have made oxy-fuel welding nearly extinct for many applications. Acetylene usage for welding has dropped significantly. 
On the other hand, oxyacetylene welding equipment is quite versatile, not only because the torch is preferred for some sorts of iron or steel welding as in certain artistic applications, but also because it lends itself easily to brazing, braze welding, metal heating for annealing or tempering, bending or forming, the loosening of corroded nuts and bolts, and other applications. Bell Canada cable repair technicians still use portable acetylene-fueled torch kits as a soldering tool for sealing lead sleeve splices in manholes and in some aerial locations. Oxyacetylene welding may also be used in areas where electricity is not readily accessible. As well, oxy-fuel cutting is still popular, and oxyacetylene cutting is used in many metal fabrication shops. For use in welding and cutting, the working pressures must be controlled by a regulator, since above 15 psi 100 kPa, if subjected to a shockwave caused, for example, by a flashback, acetylene decomposes explosively into hydrogen and carbon. Portable lighting Calcium carbide was used to generate acetylene used in the lamps for portable or remote applications. It was used for miners and cavers before the widespread use of incandescent lighting, or many years later a low-power, high-lumen LED lighting, and is still used by mining industries in some nations without workplace safety laws. It was also used as an early light source for lighthouses. Plastics and acrylic acid derivatives Except in China, use of acetylene as a chemical feedstock has declined by 70% from 1965 to 2007 owing to cost and environmental considerations. Acetylene can be semihydrogenated to ethylene, providing a feedstock for a variety of polyethylene plastics. Another major application of acetylene, especially in China is its conversion to acrylic acid derivatives. These derivatives form products such as acrylic fibers, glasses, paints, resins, and polymers. <laughs> niche applications In 1881, the Russian chemist Mikhail Kusharov described the hydration of acetylene to acetaldehyde using catalysts such as mercury bromide. Before the advent of the Wacker process, this reaction was conducted on an industrial scale. The polymerization of acetylene with Ziegler Nata catalysts produces polyacetylene films. Polyacetylene, a chain of CH centers with alternating single and double bonds, was one of the first discovered organic semiconductors. Its reaction with iodine produces a highly electrically conducting material. Although such materials are not useful, these discoveries led to the developments of organic semiconductors, as recognized by the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2000 to Alan J. Heger, Alan G. McDermott, and Hideki Shirakawa. In the early 20th century, acetylene was widely used for illumination, including street lighting in some towns. Most early automobiles used carbide lamps before the adoption of electric headlights. Acetylene is sometimes used for carburization, that is, hardening of steel when the object is too large to fit into a furnace. Acetylene is used to volatilize carbon in radiocarbon dating. The carbonaceous material in an archaeological sample is treated with lithium metal in a small specialized research furnace to form lithium carbide, also known as lithium acetylide. The carbide can then be reacted with water, as usual, to form acetylene gas to feed into a mass spectrometer to measure the isotopic ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12. <laughs> Natural occurrence The energy richness of the C-C triple bond and the rather high solubility of acetylene in water make it a suitable substrate for bacteria, provided an adequate source is available. A number of bacteria living on acetylene have been identified. The enzyme acetylene hydratase catalyzes the hydration of acetylene to give acetaldehyde. C2H2 plus H2OCH3 choacetylene is a moderately common chemical in the universe, often associated with the atmospheres of gas giants. One curious discovery of acetylene is on Enceladus, a moon of Saturn. Natural acetylene is believed to form from catalytic decomposition of long-chain hydrocarbons at temperatures of 1,700 K 1,430 degrees Celsius, 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit and above. 
Since such temperatures are highly unlikely on such a small distant body, this discovery is potentially suggestive of catalytic reactions within that moon, making it a promising site to search for prebiotic chemistry. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Safety and handling. Acetylene is not especially toxic, but when generated from calcium carbide, it can contain toxic impurities such as traces of phosphine and arsine, which give it a distinct garlic-like smell. It is also highly flammable, as are most light hydrocarbons, hence its use in welding. Its most singular hazard is associated with its intrinsic instability, especially when it is pressurized. Under certain conditions, acetylene can react in an exothermic addition type reaction to form a number of products, typically benzene and or vinylacetylene, possibly in addition to carbon and hydrogen. Consequently, acetylene, if initiated by intense heat or a shockwave, can decompose explosively if the absolute pressure of the gas exceeds about 200 kPa. Most regulators and pressure gauges on equipment report gauge pressure, and the safe limit for acetylene therefore is 101 kPa gauge, or 15 psig. It is therefore supplied and stored dissolved in acetone or dimethylformamide DMF, contained in a gas cylinder with a porous filling agamassin, which renders it safe to transport and use, given proper handling. Acetylene cylinders should be used in the upright position to avoid withdrawing acetone during use. Information on safe storage of acetylene in upright cylinders is provided by the OSHA, Compressed Gas Association, United States Mine Safety and Health Administration, MSHA, AGA, and other agencies. Copper catalyses the decomposition of acetylene, and as a result, acetylene should not be transported in copper pipes. Brass pipe fittings should also be avoided, cylinders should be stored in an area segregated from oxidizers to avoid exacerbated reaction in case of fire, leakage. Acetylene cylinders should not be stored in confined spaces, enclosed vehicles, garages, and buildings, to avoid unintended leakage leading to explosive atmosphere. In the U.S., National Electric Code NEC requires consideration for hazardous areas including those where acetylene may be released during accidents or leaks. Consideration may include electrical classification and use of listed Group A electrical components in USA. Further information on determining the areas requiring special consideration is in NFPA 497. In Europe, ATEX also requires consideration for hazardous areas where flammable gases may be released during accidents or leaks. <laughs> <laughs> 